We're going to make a pumpkin risotto. And the whole point of making this is so that you have ample leftovers to make pumpkin arancini or fried rice balls for the next day or over the weekend. So for the pumpkin, I put it in a big old Dutch oven and I get it going over medium to medium high heat with one large onion. I season it up with uh, salt and pepper and I let it cook down until it gets tender. I like white pepper and nutmeg on my squash, so I'm gonna throw a little white pepper, salt, and nutmeg all in with the pumpkin itself. About a cup and a half of Italian white. You always finish risotto with butter and cheese. In this case, we're going to finish with brown butter. And when the butter melts, I have about six tablespoons of butter in this pan. When the butter melts and begins to bubble, you add your whole sage leaves. In this pan, I took one small onion and a few cloves of garlic and you soften them in a few tablespoons of olive oil. Then you're going to toast a cup and a half of your arborio rice or carnaroli rice, short grain rice. Coat that in the olive oil, toast it up. A little salt and pepper, white or fine ground black. So I keep them right next to each other and I just ladle, or you can use a coffee mug if you like, just ladle to cover the top of the rice. Uh, I'm gonna just babysit all this. I'm gonna get my crispy sage leaves out when the butter is brown. Meet me right back here. <laughs> Guys, I'm just finishing pureeing up the end of our recipe here. This is for our pumpkin risotto. You can also make it with a butternut squash. In this case, we're going to add in our pumpkin or butternut puree, making this extra creamy and delightful. Lovely. Stir, 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 stir. And you see how it's got this beautiful, creamy, silky, pourable factor? There's no cream in it, that's the starch. Okay, so here goes our brown butter. I know. Okay, and then our parmigiano. Oh. This is the consistency risotto should be. See, pourable. Beautiful, pourable, silky. Now, I'm gonna bring it down here and I'm gonna give you one quick tip. You top it, of course, with your crispy sage leaves. Ah, uh, no. And a little extra cheese in the middle, very pretty. Now, the important thing is, when you're done serving everybody, the portions of this, take what's left and pour it onto a sheet pan. And let this cool and chill overnight so that you can make it arancini. I'll show you how to do that when we come back.